great. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Yep. So... How are things coming? I found the Mithraia plants. Vine which had not been plundered. Do you know Mithraia's? I suppose it wasn't that bad. It is an old thing, building temples out of caverns. The Dark Walls being the universe. Inside are its followers. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection to creation. The orbs. Yeah, so I think that that's what they were talking about in a, a machine for pigs, where uh, the main character found like some old temples or something in Mexico. I'm assuming he found Mithraic temples, but we'll see. We'll see if that comes up. That's just uh, me, you know, guesswork at this point. I've only done that one recording session. So record another one once I get done with this. That'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so so I'm looking around again. Um, I'm trying to remember what it is I need to do. I need to go upstairs. It's not yeah. It's not go back up up to the chancel. But yeah, I need to go upstairs and hit those levers. So putting that gear into place made it made it so those levers can be can be pulled now. They sometimes consume themselves or break, then used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. The orb I found spared my life and returned to where I found it. I know because Alexander took it and brought it to Brennan. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, what's what's going on with uh, Agrippa? I'm not entirely sure. Apparently, uh, Alexander gave him some sort of concoction. Uh, same one that they talk about in the machine for pigs um, the Brennenberg compound and I guess that made it so he is immortal pretty much but he can't move so presumably Alexander wanted him alive uh, to question him or something we'll see maybe he knows something There we go. Those two should, those two levers should have uh, raised those two doors earlier that we saw. Should give us access to the choir and the transept. So now we can go get those orb pieces. Yay! Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Dude, you can just fuck right off. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, I am a terrible person, but so are you. So, haha. -ha. <laughs> that two two wrongs make a right, right? Dad, good to see. You, you got the doors open. Good going. I knew you could do it. Thanks. Can I have a doggy treat? Nah, not gonna use that. So I am gonna do something here. It might seem a little weird. So there's as well. And, uh, and that is the sound of that water monster. So first thing I'm going to do is throw a rock at him. Because, fuck you, water monster. Ooh, he didn't like that. Um, but yeah, so so this room is, is kind of important to to something. And I'm going to do it a little early. So you take this meat and put it on the end of the, of the rope. And you can turn this... You're probably like, why would you do this, Steven? Well, we'll find out later. Oh, goodness. He's going to town on it. You pull it back up, and you have this. Remains. Bone is covered in mucus. All right. So, so yeah, that that is actually kind of important. 
Uh, depends on what ending you want. Yeah. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. Excellent. Yeah, so this is great. So we're really... Oh, jeez. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Yeah. So I'm gonna climb these these uh, stairs first. There's some stuff up here. Oh man. Oh hey look, it actually looks kind of personable up here. Hey Jesus, we could really use your help right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a note. Yep. There's some string. We're gonna need that. Lamp. Rubbing it does nothing. And some oil. There you go. Yeah, so... Yeah. Well, you are a demonic sultan perched upon a mountaintop. You're, uh, you're a pretty terrible person, Alexander. Oh, whoops. Let that slip. Yeah, so all of those, uh, all of those cylinders that you've been seeing, uh, those are all notes from Alexander, in case you didn't figure it out already. That sounds awful. It sounds like sawing. Yep, it was sawing. So, that's the, the form of torture they used in here, apparently. There's the piece of ore we need. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The man stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. That's nice. That's a lovely scene. So yeah, so there's a drainage pipe here, and actually use this. You actually have to use, yep, combine that with a string, make a glass jar and a string, and if you use that here, you can get some of the blood. And I know you're going, how do you know to do that? Why do you want to do that? Glass jar of blood. But, uh, you'll see. <laughs> That's all I can say for now. Basically, we'll find out later, and, uh, and I could... I, I could come back here and do all this, but I'm just going to do it the first time, <laughs> so I don't have to. So there aren't any doors down here, but I'm just double checking. It has been a minute since I've played this game, so I don't remember where every single door and every single note and everything is. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm picking up every note that's along the way. Um, do want to make sure that I, I show you guys all of the storyline. It's a nice pentagram. That's, that's just lovely. Yep. Yep. Looks like something from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh man. So we got another form of torture in here. Let's see what this is after we get the orb. There we go. Let's go look at the picture. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's just that's just lovely. Yeah. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the women contemplated, as the men contemplated their next step. Well, so you can turn this too. It just makes you lose more sanity. Nothing else to do in here, so. I just wanted to show that to you. <laughs> I didn't get anything from it. 
What's wrong, Daniel? You starting to remember? You sure are. Dealing with real monsters. So yeah, so this one should be kind of self-explanatory. But, in case it isn't. No, no, please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! Do anything! I'm innocent! Yep. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. <laughs> Lovely. Yep. Just great. Oh, it's great. It's fine. So we have three pieces of the orb now. Texture and color are constantly changing, it says. Yeah. Um... So that's great. <laughs> once we get once we get all six, we can uh oh. Once we get all six and uh, maybe some adhesive, try and form the orb again. But uh, we got all three of the pieces from here, so such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. <laughs> 